What's up everybody? New concept art for Captain America Civil War has been released and we finally, finally, finally get a chance to see who's on whose side. So if you don't know by now, Captain America Civil War is going to be about the confrontation between Captain America aka Steve Rogers and Iron Man aka Tony Stark. So for whatever reason, these two are going to duke it out, but they're not going at it alone. They have teams and people backing them up on each side. So you can kind of tell behind me who's on whose side, but let's go ahead and run down each team. So on Iron Man's team, obviously you have Iron Man himself, Black Widow, Black Panther, Vision, and War Machine. So on Captain America's team, you have Captain America leading it off, Sharon Carter, AKA Agent 13, the Winter Soldier, Falcon, Ant-Man, and Hawkeye. Wow, so we have some really, really formidable teams going at it at each other in Civil War. So I'm sure just looking at these teams is raising a lot of questions. How does Black Panther become a part of Iron Man's team? How do Hawkeye and Black Widow end up on the opposite end of the spectrum from each other. It's things like this that are, you know, already making fans wonder what's going to be happening to make this battle occur. I think it'd be safe to make assumptions that the events of Age of Ultron, as well as maybe another catastrophic world event, is going to really create this tension and this conflict between Tony Stark and Steve Rogers. You have somebody like Steve Rogers who's upstanding, he has a moral compass in place, he knows what the right thing to do. All he know, all he knows how to do is to serve and protect the world. Then you got Tony Stark who's a little bit, you know, shakier, doesn't have much of a moral compass, has done questionable things in the past. I mean, look at the god awful havoc that he wrecked upon his own team in Age of Ultron. Like if he didn't create Ultron, the movie wouldn't have never happened. It could have been avoided. So now we just have this really interesting conflict. You know, this the comic book storyline is a lot different that's than what's gonna occur in the movies. Marvel, they take things from the comic books, they take inspiration, but they're gonna make their own storyline. They're gonna make a fresh storyline, so don't expect things that happened in the comic books necessarily to transfer over in the movie. Because if you read the comic book, you know somebody dies and gets off and doesn't make it. I doubt that'll happen. Marvel doesn't like to kill too many people. Questionable by their absence, we don't see Spider-Man in this photo, and we also don't see Scarlet Witch. These are two really powerful, powerful superheroes. Where are they gonna fall into this conflict? It's already been confirmed that both of the characters are in the movie. We just found out the casting for Spider-Man. We also just found out that Tom Holland shot scenes for this movie. We know he's gonna be here. What role will he play? But after taking all of this in and seeing all of this new concept art and seeing everything unfold, I'm putting my money on Team Iron Man. Why? I mean, come on, look at them. They have Vision, they have Black Panther. Who else do you need? I mean, the Vision is like a deity and he like brought hell to Ultron in Age of Ultron. I mean, did you see him in the last 20 to 30 minutes of that movie? He was just like godly. And then Black Panther is just all sorts of a wild card, but you can already know and tell. Black Panther is gonna be really, really shaking some things up in this movie. And they're not gonna introduce him in a weak fashion. You cannot introduce such a fan favorite superhero in a weak fashion, so I know Black Panther is gonna hold his own. So mark my words right now, while it may be a Captain America movie, while he may be the central character in this film, I'm picking Tony Stark and his goons. Quite frankly, that's the bottom line about that. Captain America Civil War hits theaters in May of 2016. I'm super amped to see it. This has made me even more excited. As always, go follow me on social media, JRW the Creator on Twitter and Instagram. Go check out my website at jordanrwilliams.com. And also, check me out on moviepilot.com. And I will see y'all next time.